evening guys this is Sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video we are going to learn what is illuminance and how are we going to calculate the sim in the dialogs evo the term illuminance is very important part of our lighting design in fact on the illuminance itself our lux studies lux reports lux calculations everything depends on so it's very important for us to understand this very clearly in this tutorial today, I'm going to explain you what is this illuminance in the simplest way possible. I'll be walking you through different real-time examples. Plus, we will see how do we calculate the same in the dialogues evo. Let's get started. What is illuminance? Illuminance is the amount of light that is falling on the surface. For now, here I have considered a table. And let us say this table top is my surface. And for me, in this example, what is illuminance? The amount of light that is falling on the table surface is illuminance. We will try to understand it more clearly in examples ahead. Okay. Now, illuminance is measured in lux. Okay. When I talk about lux levels, I'm actually talking about illuminance itself. Right. Now, let us consider back the same example of the tabletop. Here, I have more light. See the surface of the table. This has very good amount of light falling on the surface. Since I have more light, that means I have higher illuminance. Suppose, if the, if the light is less, the light falling on the surface of the table is less, that means the illuminance is lesser. So, when I have more light, that means I have higher illuminance. And when I have less light, that means I have lower illuminance. And what is illuminance? Illuminance is the amount of light that is falling on this surface. Now, let me explain you the same with the help of this video clip. Here, I'm considering a room in the daylight. And as you see, the room is receiving ample amount of daylight. And the walls, the floor, the table, everything is getting enough of light. Illuminance levels or the lux levels are high in this space, right? Now consider this example wherein I have a table lamp on the table. And if we observe closely, only the table surface has more illuminance level. And my rest of the room is dimly lit. The surface which is near to this is getting more light levels. Hence, my lux levels are high here compared to the other areas in the room. Now, let us consider another example of a candle light. The surroundings where the candle is kept will receive very small amount of light emitted from the candle. That means the illuminance level or the lux levels here are very less. I hope you understood this. Okay, illuminance is the amount of light falling on the surface. Illuminance is measured with lux. Okay, another important factor for us to consider is the more light is, the higher my illuminance levels or the lux levels. The lower the light is, the lesser illuminance levels or the less lux levels. Right, you know, we all, irrespective of if we are lighting designers or not, we actually adjust this lux levels every day in our lives. Yes, that's true. Let me explain. I'm sure you have a room with a window in it and uh, during the day, you might be receiving ample amount of light. Also depends on the season. Suppose if it is a summer season and it's uh, 12 p.m. in the day you will be receiving more amount of light similar to the one i have showed in this rendered image okay suppose if you don't need so much brightness in your room you actually adjust the drapes or you close the curtains what are we doing here we are actually reducing the light we are receiving in the room and hence we are decreasing the illuminance levels or the lux levels now see here i will i will try to explain it again this room we have a nice window we have a bright sunlight coming from the window and my room is very well lit okay i have more light coming in that means i have more illuminance levels or the lux levels okay see on any surface you consider even the flooring okay if i consider illuminance levels here what is my illuminance light falling on this surface 
so see this is bright enough see it on the bed level bright enough right more light more illuminance level more lux level suppose if i reduce the amount of light i'm receiving in this room you see the room becomes slightly darker than before okay before it was like this now it is more darker because i'm limiting the amount of sunlight i'm getting in this room okay what i'm doing here is by reducing the amount of light i'm getting in the room i'm actually reducing the illuminance levels or the lux levels of this room right i think with this example it is more clear to you higher illuminance and higher lux levels and if i say lower illuminance or lower lux levels you understood what it is right if you haven't understood yet pause the video here go back and watch it again and try to understand slowly because if this concept is clear for you it will be easy for us to proceed in dialogues okay now let's consider a sample project in dialogues room planning i will consider a small room of 3 by 3 and height is 3 meters and the space let me assume it is a store room okay store and stock rooms okay let's consider this as an example for our lux calculations now this is my room okay and in any given project we have different rooms okay and all rooms have their own illuminance or the lux requirement like the example i showed you of a bedroom with and without sunlight see now suppose if you are in this room studying you need more lux levels the blinds open okay suppose if you are resting in this place you don't need that much brightness in your room and you close the drapes you reduce the lux levels similarly when when we do lighting design for a project we have different rooms and each room have their own illuminance requirement okay in any country you are you might be following a specific lighting code now this lighting code tell us in brief what are the different illuminance levels we require in different types of spaces Dialogs has simplified that for us because when we choose spaces, we can actually define the utilization profiles. We can select what kind of room it is and when you select the standard, it will also display you what are the lux levels required. Okay, I have a detailed tutorial on spaces. If you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you watch the tutorial on spaces that will help you understand the technicalities involved in lux calculation more easily now once you have defined the spaces what we do is we go place the lighting for now i have considered downlight automatic arrangement when i said we do lux calculations all your lux calculations will be done on work plane okay what is our illuminance illuminance is actually the light falling on any given surface okay usually by standard we have uh, height of the work plane to be 0.8 meters and the wall zone to be 0.2 meters i also have a detailed tutorial on this work planes i will provide a link of all these tutorials in the description below run the calculations once the results are completed you can see the results overview and here it displays us the illuminance levels or the lux levels see the rating here shows 149 lux okay that means on this surface i have 149 lux what is lux lux is actually a unit for illuminance and what is the illuminance the amount of light i'm receiving in this surface right so in my spaces the standards i have chosen for storerooms i need 100 lux okay 100 lux i'm achieving 149 lux i'm achieving slightly more lux than what is required right now we measured the lux levels at 0 0.8 meters height suppose you don't want to measure it at 0 0.8 meters okay suppose this application is something like corridor in corridors our work planes will be at zero level then you can sh change the height here now let us reduce to height of this work plane to be zero and let's run the calculation now you see we are receiving 127 lux previously it was at 0 0.8 meters height 
it was 149 lakhs now i have 127 lakhs why the decrease in the lux levels see my lights are placed in the ceiling here okay and if my work planet is at zero level the distance between the light source and the surface is more hence my lux levels drop slightly if my work plane is at 0 0.8 meters okay the dis distance between the light source and the work plane is less that's why i have a little higher lux levels this is similar to the real time example i showed you that when we have a table lamp and uh, it's switched on then on the surface where we have placed this table lamp only this surface will be receiving more illuminance the far we go from the light source the less illuminance we have right i hope you understood the points till here in the dialogue now let us check how does this value show us in the lux reports right we'll go to the documentation and in the summary if you see we have e perpendicular okay this is perpendicular illuminance now why is this displaying me perpendicular illuminance is because if we see our surface the work plane is flat here okay and my light source is at the top and whatever i'm calculating i'm calculating like the light is hitting at the perpendicular angle on the surface okay i hope you understood what is perpendicular illuminance and uh, it shows us what is the target value i required i'm getting 149 lux slightly higher than my target and it's showing me check mark uniformity i required as 0.4 but i'm not achieving the required uniformity that's the reason it's showing me cross mark okay if you want to know more in detail what is uniformity i have a detailed tutorial on that now if you go to the working plane here you can see perpendicular elements that is your target okay this perpendicular illuminance is also an average average of the overall illuminance you're receiving on that surface okay e minimum is the minimum amount of illuminance you're receiving minimum lux levels and mag e maximum is the maximum illuminance or the maximum lux levels you are receiving on the given surface let me explain you this more clearly we'll go to the calculation objects we'll select the plan view select the work plane to understand more clearly if you prefer to see the calculation in false color you can choose false colors or if you prefer to see it in value chart you can choose this one but i feel false colors give you more clear understanding now if you see from the top view here i have placed two down lights okay and uh, on this area i have around 250 to 200 lux okay and i as i go far from the light source near the walls the lux levels the illuminance levels are dropping to 50 okay and if i go towards this wall the illuminance levels have further dropped in 25 lux okay that's the detail here but in the documentation it does more detailed analysis and it shows me that minimum lux level i have in this space is 13.1 lux and the maximum lux levels i have is 274 lux when we are doing a lux calculation in as a work plane to a complete room you can consider average illuminance levels or the average lux levels which is this value and make sure to comply with the lighting code or the lighting standards this is how you do lux analysis or the lux calculations in the dialogues evo i hope you have understood what is illuminance and in the dialogues we also understood how do we measure it what are the different parameters and where do we check the lux values in the report today whatever we discuss is perpendicular illuminance lighting design is very technical subject and what we discuss today is a part of it because we have other terms like vertical illuminance etc which we'll be discussing one by one in my upcoming tutorials but i hope initial concept and understanding of illuminance is clear to you all if you like this video please do hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you